This is LMU. LMU is overflowing with creativity, education, and possibility. LMU students are driven, service-oriented, and friendly. LMU is a safe space. That is, until September 9th, the day of the incident. What's up, you guys? Just at LMU. It's nice and sunny here. Definitely not missing Connecticut. Beautiful weather. Um, what the- Hey guys, so Roar Studios is filming a brand new series. Here, take a look at my lovely crew. And we need extras, so if you're free, come on down uh, and get an extra- What? Oh my god. Run. Oh my gosh! Ah! Run! Oh my gosh! At 1.07 p.m., three hooded and masked miscreants sprinted through campus and wreaked havoc on the LMU student body. With them, they carried two three-stream crossbow super soaker water guns. Only instead of water, there was something much worse in them. Urine and bleach. I was walking out of my bio class when it happened. It got me in the eye. I thought I was dying. We have to find out who did it. I was picking up my bid and these dudes just came out of nowhere. It was nasty. I had to throw up my jewel afterwards. Whoever did it has it coming for them. There was piss in my socks. We have to buy all new uniforms. I want to know who did it. Yeah, um, it's really lucky I wasn't there. My friend Erica was there and she was a brunette, but um, now she has blonde splotches all over her hair from the bleach. The criminals racked up over $60,000 of destroyed uniforms, clothes, hair, film equipment, bleached grass, not to mention the reparations to the victims of the event. And what did the school do? Nothing. No investigation, no reward, just an email asking anyone with information to step forward. My name is Abby Alvarez, and I'm a junior at LMU, as well as the general manager of Roar Studios. The injustice that occurred on September 9th must be resolved. And I promise that I, Abby Alvarez, will figure out who committed such an atrocity and bring justice to LMU. <coughs> what about me? Oh, and my assistant, Al. Wave hi. In order to solve this case, we must talk to the students themselves. Roll the clip. Hi, who do you think did it? Did what? The incident. Where were you on September 9th? Who are you again? I'm Abby Alvarez, and this is the Ignatian Investigation. The what? The Ignatian Investigation. I'm here to solve the incidents that happened on September 9th and bring justice to the student body of LMU. Okay, dude. Good luck with that. Wait, can we use this interview for a documentary? You're making a documentary? Yeah. Oh, I get what you're doing. It's like that show, American Vandal. Oh, I love American Vandal. I thought American Vandal got canceled. Oh, you're ripping off American Fando. Fando. American Vandal. American Vandal? American Vandal. American Vandal. Oh. To clarify, we've gotten some comparisons to a certain fictional show on a certain streaming network. We are not that show because this is real. This is justice. This is the Ignatian investigation. Abby's a little serious. <sighs> okay, maybe a little too serious, but she's well-intentioned. She's just pissed about how the incident ruined our production schedule. With permitting and repairing equipment, there's no way we're gonna be able to release content this semester. I think finding out who did it is gonna bring closure to a lot of people. Al, get over here. We are looking for three people, relatively slim build, but two slightly bigger and taller than the other. So, two guys and a girl. That's our best guess. Okay. Well, what were the motives? Who was there and what were the events going on on campus? The only three events going on were bid day for the frat, the soccer game, and our film shoot. We're all hit? Yeah. Okay, then we need to figure out who were the targets and who was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, what if all three were targets? Ow. That's stupid. Brett Kavanaugh's dumb jocks and cinematic visionaries don't mix. Sorry, it's just an idea. Well, it was a stupid one. Where do we even begin? Let's just go left or right. It may sound stupid, 
but we had to start somewhere. Beta Sigma Sigma Gamma, also known as Beer, they were the first group hit that fateful day. Who would have targeted them and why? There was only one way to find out. We need to talk to the one man who very well could have been the target of the incident, Timothy Johnson, the president of Beer. Okay, um, so, Timothy, where were you on September 9th? 